Hi everyone, today on the Oddities and Curiosities Expo Happy Hour video series, we're chatting with Noah and Allie, the owners of Eccentric Supply. Eccentric Supply specializes in ethically sourced animal products. They mostly sell the pieces that were not used by the industry that the animals were unfortunately killed for, so that the feet, tails, bones, etc. can be used as much as possible. They like to provide raw materials for artists and other craftspeople so that every part of the animal is going somewhere useful. Let's check in with Noah and Allie. Hey guys, it's so nice to see you. How are you doing? We're doing pretty good. How about you? Uh, you know, I'm doing okay too. It's a strange time for us, I feel like. So it's uh, trying to stay busy, trying to, um, you know, stay positive and everything about the shows, but <laughs> just yeah. trying to make it high. <laughs> so, how, so what's it like up in Minnesota? Um, you know, I know like some states are opening up, so I've kind of been asking everybody, you know, is that what's going on up there or... Minnesota's kind of slowing it down compared to like South Dakota, Iowa, and Wisconsin. They're opening back up, and Minnesota's not as as open right now. Yeah, I honestly I think that's probably a good thing. You know, I think we should all just stop for a second <laughs> so we could actually get over this craziness because right now, um, it uh oh okay <laughs> right now it uh, it's hard to say when we can get back to normal life you know, and with everything opening up so quick, it's hard to say what is going to happen about that whole situation too. <laughs> I know. That's, it's crazy, you know, but it gives us more time to do things outside and see we've been gardening a lot and sharing sheep and helping get crops running. So. Oh yeah, that's good. I, uh, my husband and I also kind of got our garden all together and I've actually had a garden every year, but uh, this year we were going to be gone so much with the shows that I was like, oh, I should just probably not have a garden this year. I'm not going to be home, but here I am. And now <laughs> I'm like, yes, I get to have my garden. So there are some fun things that we have time for now that we wouldn't normally. So, mm. but um, it's really nice to chat with you guys. And really the whole point of today is finding out a little bit more about eccentric supply and what you guys do. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, um, you know, kind of how it came about and your inspirations and just kind of a little bit more about it all. Sure. Um, so my background is in pre 1860s reenacting which I've been doing since as long as I can remember. My grandpa's been selling fur since the 60s. Wow. Um, so that I grew up with that. And then we met in Sioux Falls in uh, college for archaeology and art. So. So, yeah, we know. <laughs> We've been working with bones for a long time. <laughs> yeah. And then that, that art background really inspired us to help other people find the pieces that they need for their work. Yeah, we, we met a lot of people through our archaeology background that have a lot of bones, have a lot of animals, and stuff like that. Um, so we can get access to some parts that might be harder to find for people. So we like to bring that to the larger, larger audience. Yeah, that's really cool. And, you know, like I kind of said in your introduction, that you guys kind of specialize in ethically sourced pieces. And personally, for me, as an animal loving vegan, I, I love that because, you know, it's just a fact that animals will be killed in all kinds of different industries. And the idea of so much going to waste is what is really hard uh, grasping that. So, so you guys take those pieces and you make them useful, essentially, correct? Yep. Yep. So we, we do do cleaning and we, um, I do sewing. So um, I make a lot of the furs are repurposed into I like hats. like hats. Yeah, we make make our own hats. Um, and um, yeah, we just take all the parts that they might not want, like the feet, the tails, the the bones, the skulls. Make sure they go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we do talk to a lot of people that that eat the animals too. So all of our turtle shells come from Arkansas. And it's the guy that that's his main source of protein. He eats turtles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going, going to use, yeah, so. yeah, well, I just think that's really cool. And, you know, it's like, we're really serious about the fact that we want every vendor that's involved with our show to be, you know, ethically and sustainably sourcing their products. So, you know, for you guys, you are, you supply, you know, some of the vendors who sell items or who craft items. So, you know, it's like, it's good to know that they're coming from a, a good area. And, you know, it's like, though, you know, many people look at it like, well, the animal is still dying, but 
it would it's better for you to try to use every part of it than for it to be discarded of and just gone. And that that pretty much um, comes a lot from the anthropology side of it. So we were in South Dakota and we did our field school for archaeology in Oklahoma on a 10,000 year old Paleo Indian um, campsite. campsite there in Beaver. So right on the panhandle. <laughs> And that was very much so a principle of their lifestyle. We want to see that that is still continuing. Yeah, we found a lot of bones that were made into tools and stuff when we were digging there. And so, like, bones can still be used for things. So, yeah. yeah. Well, that's so cool. You were working, I mean, like, you know, I live in Oklahoma, but I've never been to a Beaver, I think it's that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm middle> <laughs> well, that's really cool, though. Uh, wow, what an interesting. Um, like archaeology that's like really interesting and I've always like kind of been intrigued with that but it went nowhere for me so I think that's really awesome that you guys like have a couple different aspects that kind of have formed into what you do now um, so how long have you been doing this so our business has been um, established for about a year but before that I've been working with my grandfather selling the fur and the tr old trade beads and sells and all of those things for 10 years so it's gotcha. So our business is new, but we've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. And it's 84 now, so somebody's going to have to kind of fill that. Continue once, on. Once he's, yeah, not wanting to do it anymore. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's nice because you also have, like, experience for so long that you can put into, you know, a centric supply now. Yeah. So, um, and now, do you guys do this, like, full time? I mean, like, I know you have other things that you do, um, just, like, kind of, like, around the farm or just, like, you know, in general, but is this like your main, I guess, source yes. or? Right now, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Is just... We, our daughter is seven months old, and so we're really embracing being able to be new parents and um, watch her grow up, and so we're really enjoying the opportunity to be home with her. Yeah. And bring her everywhere with us, too, which is great. And I uh, like living, living on the farm, we, we have a lot of uh, sustainable living, so we don't have a lot of expenses. Um, we, yeah, she our sheep, make our own every, everything. <laughs> so, yep, we, yeah. Yeah. No, oh, that's really cool, guys. I, I love that. Um, you know, like I said, I'm, I think it's just really interesting how, uh, how you focus on the ethical side of things and like just the sustainable living in general. Um, that just all kind of ties into your business as well. So, um, I think it's great. I'm, I'm kind of happy for you guys. Uh, kind of jealous right now that you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere and, <laughs> like, and you know all this craziness is going on um but I guess it kind of ended up being a um a, a kind of the good side of this all happening is that you can now stay home especially with um with your new child and kind of just like you know kind of kind of sit and chill for a little while um mm -hmm. I think that's important too you know, instead of just constantly being on the go and I didn't even realize really how busy I was until this happened and now I'm not Right. Like, it's nice to just take a step back and breathe for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So during this time, um, since we can do shows and you know we can't travel and do stuff like that right now, are you guys focusing on selling online, or you know, like how is that something that's going well right now? Actually, yeah. So we've been trying to make sure we get things on Etsy because you know we do supply a lot of craft people, and I want to make sure that people have things to do. Like if you need something your project that you're doing, I don't want the coronavirus to be what inhibits your ability to make what you want to make. Totally. And you know, a lot of people I've talked to, they are struggling to get supplies right now. And it's hard. And you know, it's like, I hate to hear that from people. So it's, you know, it, it's nice that you guys can still supply those who are, you know, at least working with bones or skulls or fur, stuff like that. Um, some more supplies. So it's nice that we are here in the middle of nowhere because then we can guarantee that we're not we're not spreading it. We're not spreading it. So yeah. it it sees us and that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Because that's a real concern now. Ugh, such a strange time we're living in. That's for sure. So um, I, I did want to see. Could you tell us just like a few examples of the type of things that you have available online, just for you know someone watching this and they're like, well, you know, I collect skulls. Like, what type of stuff could I find on your website? Um, a lot of the more common skulls, like uh, raccoons, coyotes, because um, we always have hundreds of those. Um, 
yeah, badgers, whatever. Badgers. Um, but the more more common animals we'll always have online. Um, we have all skull. of the backlogs. Yep, so. every every backlog. <laughs> um, a lot of feet. Um, Porcupines. We have a lot of those right now. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We have a lot of mummified feet, tails, um, small bones, vials of turtle turtle bones because we have a lot of turtles. And just because it's if it's not on there, it doesn't mean we don't have it. It just means I haven't taken a picture of it yet. So awesome. It has what they're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. So if someone was interested in something specific, um, how do they contact you? So like, hey, I'm looking for this. Maybe you might have it. So do they just like message you on your website or Facebook or like anything like that? Really anything. Yeah. Anything um, connected to us. Facebook yeah. or Etsy is generally better just because if you email us, sometimes it's buried. Yeah. Oh, I get that. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. yeah, well, that's great. Well, because, you know, sometimes people are searching for something specific. And, you know, with you guys having such a wide variety, um, it's good to know now that maybe if they don't see it on your website, doesn't mean that you don't have it. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm really happy to kind of catch up with you guys and talk and find out a little bit more about Eccentric Supply. Um, like I said, as like an animal lover myself, I truly love that you focus on ethically sourced pieces. And, um, you know, that I, I know that, you know, this animal wasn't killed by you just for the art of the show. And, you know, that's like a, that's something that we have even in our contract, you know, because that means a lot to me. So to know that you guys aren't doing that, it just makes me happy and really um, proud to have you part of the show because of your ethics and everything surrounding it. So again, so great to talk to you guys. Um, I hope you're doing well and hopefully all of this will pass soon so we can get back to doing shows. Um, yeah. But if not, you know, I'm happy to know that you guys are, you know, selling online and that can be uh, another source of income coming in for you. So mm -hmm. awesome. Well, it was so nice to talk and I hope again to see you soon. Yeah. Bye guys. Supporting small businesses during this incredibly tough time is so important. If you're able, please shop online. You can check out Eccentric Supply on their website at www.eccentricsupply.com. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.